my YouTube friends, you guys know me, I like free stuff. I do everything I can to keep from paying for things when I don't need to. In a lot of ways, it's the reason why I know so much about live streaming and editing, image creation, 3D art, and on and on and on. It's because I'll do it myself before I pay for it. And I learned all those things so I didn't have to pay for them. And I think it's really important to learn at least a bit about all those things to make it on YouTube. You have to know what the process is. With that being said, there are a few things that are worth paying for. And I'm gonna tell you about them today in order of importance. So you know what? Let's get to it! <laughs> The first thing you need to pay for if live streaming is something you want to do is a quality internet connection. There is no substitute for a quality connection. If you spend the money to get the bandwidth you need, you're never going to need to worry about the speed or connection problems. Keep in mind this isn't download speed. You see all these commercials about gig speed and all that stuff, but guess what? That's download speed. What you need is upload speed. Find the fastest upload speed that you can in your area and and find a way to make it happen. A good internet connection is a must have for streamers. From this point on, there are links to everything I talk about in this video, as well as videos that dive deeper into each tool so you can check them out for yourself. The second streaming tool worth paying for is Envato Placeit. Remember when I said I learned how to do all the stuff in the beginning? Well, I can do it, but I'm not good at it, at least not as good as a professional artist. To get something that looks good enough to use can take me a really long time. And at the end of the day, it still won't look as good as what a professional could do. So why waste all that time? Envato has the tools to create logos and banner art and intro videos and countdown timers and branding and closing videos and all the things that you could possibly need. I mean, my logo and all that other stuff was created in Placeit. It could take me weeks to create bad ones for the channel, but with Placeit, I have them all done the way I want them in an hour or so. And the best part is if you get bored with the ones you have, you just create new ones. It's really simple worth every penny. The third tool worth paying for is Owned Pro. I have a lot of videos about creating simple animated overlays and alerts and stingers for your live stream. And if you've ever followed one of those tutorials, I have no doubt that you can appreciate how much time and effort goes into creating a good quality overlay. I mean, the ones that I show you are pretty simple concepts just to show you how it's done. With Own Pro, you get access to amazing overlays for your stream that include everything Thing that you need. Camera frames, alerts, animated overlays, stingers, weight screens, intermission screens, and a lot more. And they're downloaded directly into OBS and they're already set up in the scene collections the way you want them. And then you can take bits and pieces and customize them however you want. And these assets are incredible. Better yet, if you change games, you can completely change your theming for everything by just downloading another pack anytime you want. Now the time I would spend creating this assets or you would be unreal. You can download them, customize them, and put them in your stream in just a few minutes. Own TV and Own Pro are a true bargain. They save me so much time and I get incredible looking assets. The next tool on this list is a service I use to add guests to my live stream. And it's a bit of a cop out because I'm not picking just one because they're all pretty good and people have their own preferences. Restream, Melon, and StreamYard are browser-based tools that I use to add guests to my OBS live streams. And there's links to videos that I've done that show all these three in action and how you can add guests with them in the description below as well as links just so you can go check them out if you want. They make adding a guest easy and they're not going to tank your computer bandwidth to add an external guest. I I use one of these services every time I live stream to have Monica as my guest and Michael as my producer in my ear watching the chat and letting me know if I miss something or I need to address something. Melon, Restream, and StreamYard are really awesome tools. Check the links below so you can learn more. Number five is a tool I use on every live stream to change my voice. Voice Mod is a super cheap tool with hundreds of voices that you can choose from and if you can't find one, you can create it yourself. The point of any live 
live stream is to entertain. And this creates more engaging segments and gets people laughing and I just love it. I wouldn't stream without it. There's a link to the voice mod video and voice mod in case you want to check it out in the description below. And I have a bonus tool for you guys. It isn't something that anyone really needs so it didn't belong on the main list. But it is something that I would have trouble streaming without these days. My Elgato Stream Deck is as important to my stream as any other tool at this point. I've programmed all sorts of hotkey sequences for launching the stream, tying all my apps together like voice mods, snap camera, and even soundboard functions. The Monica Cam alone has more than 20 scenes and the Stream Deck makes it really easy to select the proper scene for any moment. Now I've heard a lot of people say it's expensive for a glorified keyboard and those folks have never actually used one. The real value isn't actually in the hardware. It's the software that makes it so powerful and you can do absolutely amazing things. Short of hiring your own programmer to create something just for your stream, you really couldn't make it any easier. If you want to learn more about the Stream Deck and how I use it, you can check this video out right here. Big thanks to all the companies that sponsor this channel. You can check them out in the description below under the heading Sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. And I couldn't do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.